Tasmania's extended ban on genetically modified crops could be undone by a loophole in new federal regulations. There are moves to block the changes, but some experts say we should be embracing new crop technologies. Matthew Evans's farming operations are known around the world. He says Tasmania's GMO-free status helps open doors to new markets. It is the ultimate in terms of uh, global branding because there's very few places that are isolated in Ireland that have uh, a blanket ban. The moratorium on genetically modified crops was recently extended by the state government for 10 years. But Andrew Wilkie and the Greens are concerned. Possible changes to national regulations could become a loophole. I'm developing technologies in the GMO space that, um, that the government is trying to, um, in effect, remove those technologies from the definition. If you put on a packet you know, the result of gene editing technology, punters wouldn't buy it. The editing process allows modification of the DNA of organisms, changing the plant structure. Some experts say they should be welcomed. To make plant more tolerant to drought or to flooding, why not? We're doing what nature is doing naturally by mutations, but just do it quicker. Deputy Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe says their position hasn't changed. Gone it alone and will continue to do so uh, to uh, defend our brand. Will Hodgman needs to get off his butt and pick up the phone and say to Scott Morrison, not good enough, do not change the definition of... John Hunt, 7 Tasmania News.